Wendy, Lewis again. What do you think about that? I love Lewis. Yes. We're going to be doing the store tonight. Uh, it's a very cool, cool place. Great. So uh, let's go on over. Okay. All right, the Thompson store. What do you very think? Very nice. Oh, no, it's closed. Well, we'll just have to, to fix that. Now it's open. Now it's open. Let me see. Yeah. You're right. All right, the Thomas store was built by the Hill family. Yep, in about uh, 1800. Um, and then um, Mr. Hill uh, met his demise in 1888, 88. Yep. I think. And then he sold the store to the Thompson family. He did. Uh, the Thompsonville store, that, that's what this is. Uh, back then it was called Thompson's Cor Corner. Yes. And um, um, now it's called, the town is called Tom Thompsonville. Right. And in the six, the, the, the sixties, this store was was brought here. Right, I think in 1968. I believe. Right, and ever since then, um, the the, um, the great great grandson of the person that bought this uh, gave this to the historical society. Now, uh, when when he did did that, they wanted to make sure that it was okay once they pl placed it, put all the uh, the ar the ar artifacts they have in there, which is a lot of cool place things. I'm for sure. Oh yeah. And um, so it's a great, great. It's a small build, small building. So we're not going to set up the D, the DVR in here at all. Right. But uh, uh, the, the, the family, uh, everyone get, gathered around the store in those in those, in those days. Sure. But um, uh, when he, when uh, when the the Thompson people, the great grand grand grandson, when, when he got when he got this, like he came back, and they wanted to see what what, what he thought of this. And he said, came in and said, "This is great. It looks just just, just like it did, except it was too too neat. <laughs> it had to be more more met. He never saw it that clean. <laughs> so uh, so I guess it was like a a, a hodgepodge. Yeah, I'm uh, sure it was. Yeah. So we'll go go on in and go for a, 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 a little tour. Yeah, I think it also served as a post office for a while. It did, and uh, actually the everything centered around this place. They got their news from this place. They got their newspapers, they got their mail. Their town gossip, I'm sure. Yeah, and all that. So um, so I'm sh sure a lot of people walk through this door. I'm sure. Many, many, many years ago. So let's walk, let's walk on through. Okay. Okay, here we go. All right, so we're, we're, in, we're inside the store. We are. And um, as you can see throughout the shel shelving, you have all these brand names of all the spices and things that were here. This was like the the Walmart of its day. Yes, it was. You know how you see people at Walmart greeting each other like neighbors are always standing in the way? Yeah. Can you ima imagine this small place? Yes, yeah, I very big. Hustle and butt bustle of kids running around wanting to buy stuff. He had a can candy counter here <coughs> and all that, so that was a big, big deal. But some of these brand names that you have are, you know, are no, are no, are no longer. Right, and some of them are still in business. But some of them still, cool. still are, and it's like the King King Syrup. I haven't seen that in years, but when I was a kid, I remember, I remember seeing that. So some some of these things have been uh, these people are, are are you know no no long, no longer, but we have, you know. Nestle's has been around a long time. Sure, Maxwell House Coffee. Ivory soap, all these things. Now these things came from all over. Some of these things came from the store itself, and some of them came from all over the place. People do donated sure. stuff and all that. So how many hands have touched these things? How many lives have touched these things? And what's so associated with them? You know, you never, you never know. Right. It's like I, there's a gun over here on on the wall. I mean, uh, was anybody shot with that gun? We don't know. Right. So we don't know what we're going to get. As far as the paranormal here, um, we did, when I had a group in here last fall, mm -hmm. uh, I did hear some banging in, in the back. Okay. There are, granted, there's a lot of stuff on the shelving and all, so something could have moved around. Um, that's the only thing that's happened to me in here. Uh, uh, we haven't done a full investigation in here. We've only had the, pub, the public tours in here. Right. So we really don't know what we're going to get. No. So, uh, but that's not that's nothing new to us. All we know is old. Yeah. And with old things, sometimes history talks back. And we're hoping in this store 
it talks back to, to, tonight to us. All right, we're at the Thompson store. What an, what an awesome night. The wind has died. Yes, it has. Uh, they closed the ferry down. Uh, they couldn't go across because of the wind, and now it's dead. So that's great. Um, we're hoping it's not dead tonight in here, though. We're hoping to get up some, some things. There's a lot of artifacts here that are really cool. Um, you never know with all the stuff that's in this piled in this store. Right? There's hundreds of things in there. Yeah, yeah there really are. And they're, they're, they're hundreds of years old. So you never know what's going to come out of this, this place. These people touch these things. These people have these things in their homes. Um, so you never know what come, comes off these, these things. And we're, these historical places, they seem to be a sponge. Some of them do. And they soak every, every, everything in, and then we come in and we talk to them. See, historians get facts. We take their facts, we go in, and we see if history talks back. We're going to see if history will talk back in the store tonight. Everybody up for this, for this one? Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. So uh, without further ado, one more time, see, see you in the green. green. Okay, I got the VRM and I got outside speaker. Okay. So we'll if, all hear it. We'll all hear it if something ha ha happens. The okay. VRM is our new our new new tool. Okay. It, it picks up EVPs in between the electromagnetic fields, which is really cool. Okay. So go on in. All right. And I have the thermal imaging camera. And I got a K2. Let's see if we get something going on in this place. You may talk to, to us tonight in this big stick that's right here with the light light on. Um, if you'd like to communicate with us, just yell into the stick. I heard a click. Can you make the light flash if you're still here with us, please? Once for yes, twice for no, if Mrs. Thompson is still with us. Got a no on this one down no. here. Is there anyone from the Thompson family here with us right now? No. I don't know. Are any of the Thompsons here with us? It's blinking like crazy. Is there a Miss Thompson here? Okay, we're at we're at the Thompson store, a very old place, uh, very cool. Have had a lot of things on the shelves and all all that. So, uh, what, did, what did we get? What did we get tonight in here? Anybody know? Anybody get it? We anything? had a flashlight that rolled across the counter, but we don't know if it was just the fact that the counter was on level, or something did push it and it actually took off. So it, it's hard to say. But right now we're going to blame it on the counter being unlevel. Okay, so we sort of de debunked this. Right. Look, looking at it now, it seems like it's going this this way. Yes. Um, so it, it probably would roll, right. I would believe. Okay. Um, we and Wendy did a th thermal sweep through through here, and we also did a, uh, a, a BRM, and we got nothing really hot in here. We went through all the shelving to see if uh, EMFs were high. And the hum didn't didn't go up much at all. No. Um, uh, you know we don't, we don't know if we got anything here or not because we haven't reviewed uh, the uh, the audio that we have. Right. So right. we really can't say. I mean, we've been on investigations where we didn't hear anything, and then all of a sudden we got a lot. Se seven e seven AVPs. Right. Right. So we really don't know. So uh, I I would say uh, it's a very cool place. If you get a chance to come to the Thompson store uh, to uh, to look around, you could uh, look at these things for a long, long time because a lot of these brand names and stuff don't don't go to exist anymore at all, and some of them look very familiar familiar to you, but they're very 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 old. So it's it's a very cool cool place. They did a great, great job uh, restoring this. They sure did. It's, it's yeah. like being in a country store. Yeah, it really does seem like you're back in the Waltons or something. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, and that's the way it was back then. So, uh, we'll we'll review this and see. I had a good, good time. Did you guys have have, have a good have a good time? It was Definitely. great. Yes. All right. We would like to thank the Lewis Historical Society, mm -hmm. and uh, we'll catch you soon. So on behalf of Delmarva Historic Haunts, Lab Group of Gettysburg Paranormal. Good night. Good night.